Hi, in this video we'll be talking about function annotations. These are user-defined data that add some information to functions. Annotations add information about the function's arguments and result. They are optional and make no difference for the interpreter. They are rather for us than the interpreter. We often use annotations to add information about the types of the arguments and the type of the value returned from the function. Ok, let's see an example. Let's define a function def func with two parameters a and b. Now we want to annotate that the two arguments should be ints. And the argument annotations are added after a colon inside the parentheses. So a colon int b colon int and you want to annotate that the result should be an integer 2. Now the result annotations are added after an arrow outside the parentheses like this dash and the greater than sign this is an arrow and here we annotate that the result should be an int 2. And then we have the colon and the function body. Return a plus b to keep it simple. OK. Now let's call this function in interactive mode. So let's send this definition to the interactive mode. And now we have func 3 and 5. And the result is 8. So it works. But, as I mentioned before, annotations are ignored by the interpreter. So even if we use different data types for our arguments, it still works, just like without any annotations at all. So let's try to call our func function with two strings. Good night. And we get good night. It works. Here's another example. The annotations are just for us. Def func. Now the parameters are a. This should be a string. B. This should be a float. C. This should be a list. And the result of the function should be a dictionary. And now we can type anything in the function body. Let's type pass. So this function naturally doesn't do anything special, but you can at least say that we can use other data types here as annotations. But the annotations don't have to be data types. Actually, they may be anything. We can use them however it makes sense for us. So for example, we could define a function like so def func now the first parameter a and here is the annotation for example a tuple 0 4 8 well it may make sense for us in some scenarios so it works then b and the annotation for b is for example a string not a string some information that this shouldn't be a string. It's just for us. Now C, for example, 2 times 5. And the result annotation, a string. Something funny. Okay, colon. And here's the body of our function. Return A plus B plus C. Now let's call this function in interactive mode. When we call the function, the annotations are just ignored. So, func 1, 2, 3, and here is the result, 6. So it works exactly the same as if there were no annotations at all. 
Now, if you want to use optional parameters with annotations, they should follow the parameter names but precede the default values. Have a look. Def func. Now, the first parameter is mandatory. It should be an int. And then we have b, which is an optional parameter, also an int. And the default value is 1. And then we have c, which is also an optional parameter, and it should be a string, and the default value is just a space. Now, the result of this function should be a float. And then we have any function body. Fine. If you need access to the annotations inside your code, they are stored in a dictionary called annotations. The names of the parameters are the keys and the annotations are the values. The result annotation is stored under the key return. Here's an example where we're using the annotations. So here we have a function with two parameters, a and b. a should be a string, b should be an integer, and the result should be a string. And the function should return the string a repeated b times. Now let's define a message. Message equals, we're using triple quotes to be able to span this message over several lines. You're supposed to pass a, here we have the annotations dictionary with the key a, and a, and here we have the dictionary with the key b as arguments to the function. The function is supposed to return a, and here we have the return key used for the annotations dictionary. Fine. And now we can just print the message. Print message. Fine. Let's run this program. You're supposed to pass a string and an integer as arguments to the function. The function is supposed to return a string. So as you can see, here we're retrieving the annotations from the annotations dictionary. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.